the use of technology has come a long way and has changed our lives in many ways. Your mobile phone is no longer something you use to only call someone. So how does technology bring us closer to making recreation facilities accessible for people who are deaf or have a hearing loss? Here to tell us is your presenter for this webinar, Joanne Bentley, the Director of Communication Devices and Accessibility Consulting Programs at the Canadian Hearing Society. Over to you, Joanne. Thanks, Cardana. Recreation centres are the hub of your community and creating experiences where all people can enjoy the programs and services that you have to offer is essential mm -hmm. to including everyone in your community. Inclusion is the key for people who are deaf or have hearing loss and accessing barrier-free communication and information is vital. Providing clear communication and access to information can be achieved in many different ways and at times it's a combined approach which breaks down these communication barriers. Technology is just one of those options and can be a relatively inexpensive way to provide enhanced communication and ensure that you are meeting the communication needs of your patrons. In this webinar, I will show you the various communication and alerting devices available which you can incorporate in your facility and you can use to improve communication between you and your patrons. Some of the communication devices demonstrated today will be the FM system, the UB Duo, the Counter Loop system, the TTY, and emergency communication systems. You will see firsthand how these devices work and gain a better understanding of where you can incorporate technology in your facility in areas such as when you provide customer service over the telephone or over the information counter at meetings or classes, or to ensure that your facility is safe for everyone. Let's take a look at how people who are deaf or have hearing loss use technology to enhance communication in recreation facilities just like yours. You will meet Bina, Peter, Diane, and Pat. In this video clip, Bina, who lost her hearing later in life, wears a hearing aid and requires the use of an assistive listening device such as an FM system. When an FM system is available to her, Bina is able to fully participate in this meeting.